Hello witches, it's Keldon. I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to do an updated bookshelf tour. I've been meaning to do this for a while, but it's been hard um, working on my second book. A lot of times my books aren't all on the shelf. They are scattered all over the place. So for a rare instance, they are all together. Um, before we get started, um, this is just my uh, main bookshelf. I have a separate bookshelf that's full of um, witch books that were written by friends that were written um, more recently. So, I mean, recently, I mean, going back to like Scott Cunningham and Silver Ravenwolf. Um, so those are somewhere else. So um, that's another bookshelf tour I can do. I also have my herbal book somewhere else and my witchcraft fiction book somewhere else. So there's lots of books throughout, um, but this is my main shelf. Um, the other thing I want to say is just, um, and I'll kind of point this out as I go, um, I don't endorse all of these books. Um, some of them I have just for their kind of historical importance, um, not necessarily because I think that they're good books, um, but I'll kind of point that out as we go along. So let's get started. So this top shelf, these are um, classic Wiccan books, um, or a kind of general witchcraft history books. I mean, Drawing Down the Moon is kind of a general thing. Um, this is a good example of a book I don't necessarily endorse. Um, the Grimoire of Lady Sheba. Um, that's a whole separate story um, about why, but um, she was kind of a shady lady. So... We've got some autobiographies, um, Lois Bourne, um, Eddie Brzezinski, some Crowther, Farrar's. Um, one of the things you'll notice is I tend to collect multiple editions of different books. Um, so like, for example, like the Witch's Bible, um, it actually includes the eight Sabbaths for witches. Um, but how can you not love this old hardcover edition with these robed weirdos flying around the moon um yeah like what witches do i've got two copies of that um the meaning of witchcraft i have three copies this was such a find um i got this um on a camping trip um somebody was giving away a bunch of old witchcraft books so um but it's cool to have different copies um this copy of high magic's aid is super trippy um, in comparison to this one, which is kind of mm, not my favorite. Um, one of Gerald Gardner's biographies that's attributed to um, J.L. Bracelin, but was probably written by Adira Shaw. Uh, Witchcraft, The Sixth Sense by Justine Glass. Um, just some other stuff. The Alex Sanders Journal. Um, so these are like the Sanders, King of the Witches. Maxine, the Witch Queen, um, Spiral Dance, Read of the Witch A, and then you start to get into Valiente, and this is where I'm going to have lots of copies of different books. So um, I collect different editions of hers. She's obviously my favorite historical witch. So um, that continues down here. Um, Witchcraft or Tradition Renewed by Evan John Jones and Doreen Valiente. Um, witchcraft for tomorrow. I have three copies of that. Um, so you can see like the different editions. Um, some of her later stuff that was put out by the Doreen Valiente Foundation, like a collection of her short stories, um, her poetry, um, the super awesome biography written by Philip Heselton. This is just some papers. Then we start to go into traditional witchcraft stuff. So we've got the Robert Cochran letters, the Roebuck in the Thicket, um, some different stuff. Um, Spellbook of the Good, Witch of Pendle, Gemma Geary stuff. Da, da, da. A lot of stuff from Troy Books and Three Hands Press. Um, Mastering Witchcraft, a cult classic. Um, the Picking Ale Papers. Masks Miss Rule. Oh, look, the Crooked Path. Um, more stuff. Genuine Witchcraft Explained. Um, this is a phenomenal book if you can get your hands on it. I'm talking about Robert Cochran and his different groups, and then later um, extensions of it, such as the Regency. Um, then we go on here. Um, 
finished. Got some pamphlets from the Museum of Witchcraft. Nigel Pearson, Val Thomas. And then right here we start to go into the history and folklore um, kind of section. So um, got some different stuff. Um, a lot of witch trial documents, so like on demon mania of witches, an examine of witches. Um, a lot of these are more academic texts. Um, witch hunts in Europe and America, an encyclopedia, Carmina Gadelica. So it's kind of a mixture of um, folklore um, and, and historical stuff. Um, Rowan Tree and Red Thread, one of my very favorite books slash most valuable possessions. Owen Davies, um, American Witch Stories, also published under the name The Silver Bullet. Um, Golden Bough, Ginsburg, um, Hutton. Um, this is a super good book. The Witch, A History of Fear from Ancient Times to the Present. And then we go down here. And I'm going to sit down on the floor. It's kind of dark, so I'll pull books out so you can see them better. Um, Witchcraft in Europe, the Malleus Maleficarum, um, Aradia, um, so I've got two editions here, um, the Witchcraft Sourcebook, the Oxford Handbook of Witchcraft in Early Modern Europe and Colonial America, uh, Margaret Murray, um, you know, people, people really don't like her, um, and obviously we know today that her hypothesis was not, um, was not accurate, but these books are still very important um, and they've still influenced modern witchcraft, whether we, we realize it or not. Um, and these books are also really good um, reference material because she cites a lot of witch trial stuff, um, a lot of cases and documents. And so you can find pieces of that in here, but you can also... Um, Sorry, a notification just popped up on my phone. You can also um, look at her citations and then go backwards. So I do really recommend um, The Witch Cult in Western Europe and The God of the Witches. Um, Demonolitary. Uh, so it just kind of goes on. Um, this is a really good book, Before Salem, Witch Hunting in the Connecticut River Valley. Um, da, da, da. This is also a really, really good book, The Witches um, by Stacey Schiff. some more stuff. Emma Wilby, her books are amazing. This book came out last year. Um, super good. And then we move down here and just a little, little bit left. Um, um, witchcraft in early modern Poland. Um, Casebook of witchcraft. Um, and then there's just some um, random other books. Um, the Lesser Key of Solomon. Um, kind of some coffee table books. And then over here are kind of uh, divination-esque books. This is a kind of one of those like read-a-day kind of things um, about connecting with nature. Fortune-telling, tarot books, a book about animal messengers, dream dictionary, and an astrology book. So, um, yeah, so those, those are the books. These are the books. Um, if you have any questions about any of them, specifically um feel free to ask in the comments otherwise yeah i'll probably make a video eventually of my other um, witchcraft bookcase but this is this is the main one um, when i'm working on writing uh, my book these are usually the resources i'm pulling from um, yeah so or if you have any book suggestions things that you didn't see here let me know or also just let me know what you're reading currently. I'm obsessed with books, so let's let's talk about it. Okay, well, I hope you're all doing well, and until next time, take care.